Are you tired of sounding just like everyone else, whether you're crushing it in game, streaming to your fans, launching a podcast? Your voice deserves to be heard the way it was meant to be. Bold, clear and professional. Enter the Fifine AM8, a microphone that lets you choose between the USB convenience and XLR power. Today, we're putting this hybrid mic to the test from casual streaming to pro level setups with a mixer. Most of the audio in this video will be from this microphone and I'll let you know in the corner down there whether I'm using the microphone in USB or XLR mode. But first, let's get on to the unboxing. Right out of the box, this microphone feels like a premium mic. Here we have the microphone itself, which we'll have a closer look at in a moment. You get a six foot five or two meter USB-C to USB cable and the base stand for the mic, which it screws into. As with all other Fifine microphones, the build quality is impressive. And as this microphone sits in that budget price range, makes this even better. It's sturdy, sleek, and comes in this clean white version that I'm using today that actually goes really well with my desk setup, though it's also available in black and pink, giving you some color choices to fit your setup. On the top of the microphone, there is a removable foam cover aimed at reducing those plosive sounds. But if you prefer not to have this on, then you can always use it without it. But I think the overall microphone looks better with it on. And generally, the audio you'll get with it on will also sound better. On the front of the mic, there's a touch sensitive button to control the RGB function on and off by holding the button and tapping the button will allow you to select between eight static colors, one that alternates between the colors and the one which is my favorite swirling multicolor effect. And then there's also the gain and headphone volume dials. On the back, a tap to mute button displaying green for live and red for muted. On the bottom of the microphone, a slot for the XLR cable, one for the USB-C cable, and a headphone jack to monitor your recordings in real time. One of the standout features of this microphone is that it is a hybrid microphone, meaning that you can use it in either USB mode or XLR mode. For gamers or streamers just starting out, the USB connection is perfect. It's simple, plug and play, and there's no need for any extra gear. But if you wanna step up your audio game, the XLR option is where the magic happens. When paired with an audio interface or a mixer like this Fifine SC3, then you get more control over your sound, whether you're just adjusting the EQ, compression, or just tweaking the volume levels for different streams. Now let's jump into what really matters, the sound. The optimum recording range of this microphone is two to six inches, so roughly about this far away that I'm speaking now, and it is a microphone with a cardioid pattern. So you're gonna to need to speak directly into the top of the microphone as it's gonna reject sound coming from all other sides. For the purpose of this review, I'll be using this microphone as it comes out of the box, which is with its own base stand, which depending on your own setup will either be ideal or limiting. But as in this setup here, all you can do is move it side to side and make those tilting adjustments. But with the base stand off, you can mount this microphone to most boom arms, which will give you better noise rejection, leading to improved audio quality. In USB mode, this microphone delivers a clear, full sound with minimal background noise. It's perfect for streamers, content creators, or anyone who just needs a reliable mic without the complexity of extra gear. While some microphones obviously sound better in different environments, this microphone is meant to keep you sounding as good as possible no matter which environment you're in. So this is me in my normal recording room, which I've done a little bit of sound treating on the walls and the floor, to this bedroom, which is quite echoey. To see what it sounds like in the kitchen to even what it sounds like outside with a lot of background noise going on. Now let's switch to XLR mode where I'm running this microphone through the Fifine SE3 gaming audio mixer. This will give me greater control over the mic settings, allowing me to fine tune my voice just to get that rich professional sound. With the XLR connection, the sound quality steps up significantly. The audio is more dynamic, and if you're doing podcasts, professional streams, or voiceovers, this level of customization is key. As you can hear, the XLR setup through the SC3 gives a warmer, more nuanced sound, whereas the USB mode is crisp and convenient, but a little less customizable. Also, you probably noticed that when using the USB mic in USB mode, 
you've got access to the controls, the mute, the RGB, the monitoring, or on the microphone itself. But when in XLR mode, you haven't got access to any of that because it requires power provided by that USB connection, which isn't present in XLR mode. But for monitoring and adjustment, you'll probably already be using a, a mixer like this, where you can make all those adjustments and monitoring direct from on here. But if you do also want access to the RGB lights in XLR mode, all you would need to do is connect a USB-C cable to power. And in this setup, the audio will still primarily use the XLR output rather than the USB output. And just to show you how good the audio isolation is on this microphone, I'm currently recording this audio on Audacity on my MacBook Air, which is right next to me, and I'm gonna record. So every time I stop speaking, so I'm currently speaking now and it is track, you can see the wavelengths of me speaking, but as I stop speaking, it goes completely silent and that wavelength is completely flat. And as I started talking again, the wavelength started going and I'm gonna stop talking again. And you can see completely silent. While in this room, I can hear a lot of humming, there's dogs barking in the background, which hopefully you shouldn't be able to hear, but that's just how good the voice and noise isolation is on this microphone. And let's break down some of the features that make the Fifine AM8 stand out. The versatility of being able to use this microphone with a USB or XLR cable, depending on your own preference and the evolution of your own creative journey. This microphone produces that excellent price to audio quality ratio, which is a common theme for all the microphones I've ever tested from Fifine. That cardioid polar pattern, this picks up the sound from the front while minimizing background noise. And of course, it's got that RGB lighting, which let's be real, we all want our gear to look as good as it sounds, especially if you're streaming live on something like Twitch or YouTube. But I understand that while RGB lighting is a core cool feature, it isn't for everyone. So who's this microphone really for? It's perfect for gamers, streamers, podcasters, and content creators who want a high quality mic without breaking the bank. If you're starting out, the USB mode is super convenient, plug and play. We'll be able to use it on computers, Macs, and PlayStation 4s and 5s. But if you are more serious about your audio and wanna grow with your setup, the XLR option gives you more room to improve your sound quality as you invest in more gear like mixers. This microphone is an excellent choice for anyone looking for a versatile mic, particularly if you're using a headset or a USB only microphone. That dual USB XLR functionality, the sturdy design, RGB lighting, and great audio performance make this a solid all-round mic at a budget price. Whether you're just starting out or you're ready to upgrade to a setup like this, this microphone has got you covered. If you're interested in getting this microphone or the SC3 mixer, I'll leave the links in the description below. And stay tuned to the channel as I'll be reviewing the XL3 mixer soon. Many thanks to Fifine for providing this microphone for me to test and review. It's greatly appreciated as usual. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And if you still want to see more reviews on other Fifi microphones, check out this playlist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.